Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a good day. Uh, first off, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, you can hit me up below or foxjunk73 at gmail.com. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. So if you looked at the thumbnail today, uh, we're painting Project Field Snake. I had access to a paint booth in Utah, but when I first moved to Utah, I didn't. I was painting in my garage at home just like basically everybody else. I met a guy at a, a drag races one weekend. His boss had a uh, booth. They said, come on down. You can use it anytime you want. I uh, moved home to Kentucky. I do kind of have access to a booth, but it's a business. I don't want to inconvenience them. Uh, my buddy in Utah, they weren't really a business. Uh, it's a one-man shop. And restored cars for just his boss, and that was it. So I decided to go old school. I put up some plastic, bought some fans, some filters, wet the floor down, got Project Field Snake taped up. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I got first cup of paint mixed up. I'm going to show you guys how I start my cars when I paint them, I normally start on the passenger side gap. Uh, today I'm going to start on the sunroof. I'm going to put some color in the sunroof uh, channel to, to keep that covered so I don't have to worry about when I do the roof. So if you want to watch the first coat, I'm uh, probably not going to video every coat. I'm going to do the first one. Uh, first thing I got to do is wipe it down with a tack rag and then I'm going to start the, uh, the first coat. So if you want to hang out. For those of you not familiar with painting, I already did wax and grease remover, got the car taped up. I did wax and, remover, wax and grease remover. Now I'm gonna do tack rag, get any dust, any fine dust that might be on the car. That's not to say that you're not gonna get more. This is just kind of preventative. It's a tack, called tack rag. Uh, these are crystals. I get them from the paint store. I think AutoZone sells them or something like that. So I basically just walk around the car. Normally, I'll start with the roof. Normally. You don't wanna push heavy on the tack rag. It is sticky. If you push heavy down on the tack rag, it, sometimes it'll leave some of that stickiness on the, on the primer or the sealer or whatever you're using. Now, people talk about sealers. If I'm doing a car that the door's red and the fender's blue or whatever, I'll use a sealer. But if I'm doing something that's all one color, yeah, I've got some red spots, but that's, that's kind of irrelevant. I don't like to use sealer because sealer basically just adds more... I know you're going to get comments below, oh, you got to use sealer. I ask you guys, what did we do before there was sealer? Uh, nothing. You know, we just painted cars. So this is a 2K primer. I've always painted over top of it. I've never had any problems. Never given me any issues. Like I said, I, I'm not talking against sealer. If you use sealer, that's fine. But to me, sealer is basically just, you know, sealer is basically just more material added to the top of the car. That's just more meals of paint. If you've got a good solid foundation to, to paint on, you don't really worry about putting sealer on. So I got it wiped down, I'll grab a gun, put my mask on, and uh, we'll put a first coat on paint on this thing. All right, so I got my paint ready to go. I'm going to do the sunroof channel, and then we'll get the one side done.
All right, so that's first coat. I'm gonna bore you guys to death with second and third coat. So once I get the third coat on and I get it nice and even and I get the overspray out of here, I'll, I'll start recording again. Right before I put the clear on, we'll walk around the car and I'll show you what the base looks like. So, hang on. Okay, so I got the base put on the car. I'm gonna walk you guys around the car, show you how I tape it up. It's just my usual, show you how I set up the shop. Uh, just shop my garage. So, a lot of people say it must be nice to have a paint booth. I don't always, I didn't always paint in a paint booth, but when you have access to it and you can use it, that's awesome. So, uh, let's check it out real quick. All right, so it's gonna look like dark, dark red in the pictures. That's what this performance red does. Look at the body lines on that thing. Body lines are amazing. Now, if I can, you've got a fly that's flying around in here. They can handle base coat, but clear coat, they can't handle clear coat. So hopefully if he drops, he don't drop in, in, in the middle of the hood. Let's hope. So that's the base coat. I'm going to walk around it one more time with a black light. See if there's any light spots. And then once I get the clear on it, we'll walk around with the clear on it. So let me know what y'all think in the comments below. What do you think it looks like? And uh, yeah, we'll go from there. Hey everybody, so it is the next day. First off, I apologize for not getting any clear coat videos. Uh, once I got the first coat of clear, filters clogged up on the fans and seeing in here was nearly impossible. Uh, with that being said, I'm really happy with the way it turned out. It's got a little trash in it. Uh, if you see the thumbnail comment though, Gigantor has struck. Uh, well, what do I mean by that? So I've been painting for a long time. I moved to Utah, there's no humidity out there. I moved back here, there's plenty of humidity. Um, so I'm getting runs in paint. I, I've had some major monsters and I've had some small ones. Runs is not a big deal getting into clear. It's just it, wet sand, buff it out. I'm buffing the whole car anyway. Uh, so they, well, this one's pretty good. It's probably about the, put it in the top five of runs that I've hung over the years. Um, so what I'll do is we'll walk around the good side and then we'll get to Gigantor. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, just being transparent. I, if it wasn't for the run, I'd be super, super stoked with the paint job for painting it in my garage. I knew I was going to wet sand and buff it, so a little bit of trash, I wasn't concerned with it. Uh, a little bit of orange peel wasn't a big deal. Uh, what happened, what I think happened is I triple coated that quarter panel on that spot coming down the, the, leg, the dog leg by the quarter panel window and didn't realize I did it. And that's what happens you get too much material. It just it has to go somewhere and, it, you know, gravity, and it goes down. So let's check it out. All right. So I got the doors open. I cleaned up the shop a little bit. Got my table and fans and all that put away. This is my little fan set up. I had filters on. I had to take them off once I got the last coat of clear done. They were extremely clogged. So that being said, this is the, the hood looking really good. The body lines though, super, super stoked with body lines. Got good coverage, no light spots. This side turned out really well. The hatch looks really good. Oh, no dents in the car, straight as hell for sure. Roof looks really nice, all that. Like I said, for painting it in here, I was really happy with it. Again, I apologize for not getting any clear videos. Driver's fender, just look at the, yeah, you can kind of see him gandering down there, Mr. Gigantor. <clears throat> so, there it is, Gigantor. My dad always said, if you're going to run it, run it big. So that's the home garage paint job version. It's not the paint booth version. Again, the run sucks. Uh, I'll do a video on wet sanding that out and buffing it. Uh, I don't know if you guys, any of you guys watching do much paint work, but that's a good thing about clear coat and non-metallic colors. You, you can most of the time get all that out, at least 99% of it. I'm hoping to get all of it out because I think there's a lot of clear on that quarter panel. Uh, it looks kind of fat anyway, all the way around, but extremely happy with body work. It's amazing. I don't think there's, I don't think I missed one dent in the car. I'm extremely happy with the body lines. They're super, super nice. Uh, no overspray under the car. I taped it up really well. The engine bay is the same way. It still looks really good. I started painting them and then putting the engines and stuff in them in Utah. But when we moved here, I didn't have time for that. And it's just kind of how it worked out. So 
it, it worked out fine. I'm happy with it. Uh, let me know what y'all think. Uh, is it, is it messed up too bad to fix? Can we save it? Uh, I think we'll be just fine. Um, <clears throat> anything you've done different? Like I said, this is, this is what I got now to work with and, uh, this is how I'm going to keep doing it for now. So if you guys, uh, have any questions or comments, leave them below. Uh, thanks for subscribing to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. If you want to see more content like this, uh, this is just how I do stuff. And it's sometimes you get, and I'll say this, sometimes you get chicken, sometimes you get chicken shit. And this was chicken shit on that spot yesterday, but we'll get it figured out again. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And, uh, everybody have a very Merry Christmas. All right. So if you're watching to the end and you said we couldn't get the run out or we could get the run out, we're going to find out. I'll show you what I'm doing real quick and how I use my water block. I'm used to starting with 1000. I don't want to go below 1000 because the clear is still soft. I mean, it is cured, but well, it's not cured, cured, but it's, it's dry enough to wet sand. I've already started a little bit. I'll show you how I do this. I'm not going to bore you with chicka, 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 chicka back and forth for 25 minutes. I'm just going to show you quickly how I do it. I'm going to see if I can get it out. And if I can or I can't, we'll see who was right in the comments. So let's see. All right, there's Mr. Gigantor. I normally take my block on the edge. I don't want to use it flat just yet because I don't want to cut the part here down that's not, that doesn't have any run in it. So I'll use the edge on the main run itself to try to get all that cut down to where it's equal with the rest of the clear on that panel. And the same with this little fatty right over here. So if you're still watching, let's see you get this run out or not. Okay, we're back. So those of you who said the run would come out, you were the winner. Looks awesome. I got it wet sanded. I did 1,000 grit, 15, 25, and I hosed it down with some water so it looks like it's basically fresh clear coat. So check it out. Sucker's gone, yo. So those who do paint, body work, uh, I've hung Many runs, big runs, small runs, runs like this, you got to work them slow, take your time, don't get carried away. Um, same thing with like some small fish eyes or stuff like that. If you got a big fish eye, I normally scuff it down in the center and put a little clear in it, let that cure up the next day and then hit that. And it normally takes care if you got a fish eye or something. Uh, this here, I was hoping it would come out. Looking at the car, I mean, it, it's 99.9%. If I didn't tell you it was there, you'd probably never see it or, or know it was there. So, again, y'all have a good Christmas weekend, and uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed, please do so. Have a good day.